Hi everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Javana Bajalik. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick spring look. This is my first video. Uh, let me guys, let me know if you guys like it. If you don't like it. Uh, if you want any more information, I will list everything that I use. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do like a very simple springy, well, kind of summer, early, uh, late spring, early summer look. Uh, very simple makeup look uh, with a bright bold lip. Uh, so here we go. Um, so I always start off with washing my face and lately I've been using the Claudel Gentle Cleansing Milk with Sweet Almond and Corn Flour. I've been finding that um, the face wash that I normally use has been drying up my skin quite a bit so I thought I'd try something new and this was what Sephora recommended for my skin. So, so far it's working and I like it. So I start with cleansing my face. And then I'll put on like a little lip mask. So right now this is the Pot Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. I just slap on a little bit. You can see. Put it on. Just to keep my my lips moisturized. Um, I'm going to spray my face with a primer. Just shake it up a little. You don't have to do as many sprays as I do. I just like making sure that like my whole face is wet. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, I'm actually right by a window, so when I do my makeup, I always like to use artificial light, which would be the light up there, and then natural light, so, so yeah. that you have the best of both worlds, um, so you don't have, like, those weird, sometimes, like, spots that look like they're yellow or off colors, and you look good in both lighting. Um, so after I spray myself, this is the, the Smashbox Photo Finish primer water as you can tell I've at the end of it so I gotta get a new one soon um and then I'm going to grab the makeup forever professional Paris step one uh radiant primer uh, I've been using this for like the last year absolutely love it I don't do my makeup without it I'm sorry if my room's a mess I apologize for that so I just apply like a little little amount just a dab you know, apply that all over my skin. Just like that. Okay, so that's done. And then what I like to do is I like to mix products because there's really no rules with makeup. So I just kind of do whatever I want. And you guys can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just showing you what I do. And then you can do whatever you want based off of that. So I'm just putting on, I like to mix um, moisturizer. A, another primer which isn't really necessary but I'm going to use one anyway because I really like this one uh, sorry my moisturizer is the Hydrolife Beauty Awakening Rehydrating Mask I find that my skin gets really really dry so I always want to wear a moisturizer before I put any makeup on here's that and then I mix it with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter base sweet Jesus I'm going to mess this up base Durante Retro Luminous. Yes, let's go with that. <laughs> um, and then I mix that with the BB cream. Uh, I'm not huge on wearing foundation or a uh, huge amount of concealer. Sometimes I will, especially if I look really tired, but I try not to. Um, so I'm just going to mix those three. And what I'll do is I just put like a woo. Put dab of moisturizer, one squirt of the primer and then I'll mix the BB cream just a dab of all three I'm gonna mix the three of them and then I'll put that onto my face make a little cocktail if you will and then sometimes I have leftover product and technically you don't you can just go wash your hands or wipe uh, use a wipe or something like that I will sometimes put that extra moisturizer on my elbows because I have really dry elbows <laughs> not that you guys need to know that but I just thought I'd tell you so from there you know my skin's like not too bad so I don't have anything that like I really want to conceal right now but I do have a little bit of a tan I went traveling recently and still to maintain that a little bit or pretend I do so right now I'm going to go in with the makeup forever pro bronze fusion and I am using the shade 10m which I believe is 
something honey. I will double check that for you later and I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, so that was just a bug on my leg. I do not do bugs. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take my pro stapling brush from Sephora, which is number 44. Um, technically you wouldn't use this for this. You would use this for like foundation and like stapling it in but I like I said I don't really like to wear foundation so yeah I'm just going to use this brush for my bronzer and like again there's no rules of makeup so do what you like so I just dab my brush in there and then I tap tap it to get the excess off and then I like to make sure that I have a little bit of color So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the area that the, the sun would naturally hit. So which is my T-zone. Which is this area here. And then I hit my cheeks up to right around the ends of my eyes. So on my cheeks and all the way up. My nose. And then my chin and I try not to forget this area because sometimes I find a lot of people like not do this and then it will be like completely different and I'm like I think you forgot something honey I just want to do a little bit of that okay um now I'm going to go in with my eyes I have my own little V palette. It's almost complete. I'm just missing one shade. I haven't decided which favorite's gonna go in there, but these are my most used. Um, as you can tell, I've hit the pot, like the pan on quite a few of them. <laughs> uh, I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna keep this look super simple. So I am going to go in with Vanilla and Paloof, which are both from MAC Cosmetic. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the area that the, the sun would naturally hit. So which is my T-zone. Which is this area here. And then I hit my cheeks up to right around the ends of my eyes. So on my cheeks and all the way up. My nose. And then my chin and I try not to forget this area because sometimes I find a lot of people like not do this and then it will be like completely different and I'm like I think you forgot something honey I just want to do a little bit of that okay um now I'm going to go in with my eyes I have my own little V palette. It's almost complete. I'm just missing one shade. I haven't decided which favorite's gonna go in there, but these are my most used. Um, as you can tell, I've hit the pot, like the pan on quite a few of them. <laughs> uh, I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna keep this look super simple. So I am going to go in with Vanilla and Paloof, which are both from MAC Cosmetic. You can order them online like I have like this and they have a magnet on the back so you just plop them in there you can actually get um a palette form from them online or you can get one of the the palettes like i have here i ordered that online i'm a huge online shopper so yeah um so i'm taking a pro shadow brush number 14 from sephora and i'm gonna take it I'm just gonna dip it that was attractive. <laughs> I'm just going to dip my brush into vanilla, tap the access off, and then just go right across my lid. I'm going to do right inside the corners. Make sure I don't miss anything, so I'll go over it a couple of times. Kind of build that, like, natural light color because I am blue-eyed and bird skin this 
it will naturally like white color will make my blue eyes pop. Next, I'm going to go in with Paloop, which is also from MAC Cosmetics. So again, I'm using the same brush. I'm not changing it. I'm just going to dip it in here. Tap off the excess. Just go in the inner corner. So again, this look really shouldn't take long, but because I am explaining everything, it's taking a little bit longer. So, as you can see, it's really white, and right now I'm not wearing any mascara, so it looks a little creepy, and the lighting hitting me, but I promise it, the end product looks great. Again, you just want to double check. You have them all, and you want to go with, like, your brush back and forth a little bit, just to make sure it's blended in so it doesn't look unnatural, in a sense, or, like, just stark. So, I think I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC Press Pigment in Blonde Street, which is just like a really pretty, almost gold. And I just take the same brush and just tap it in there a little bit. Shake off the excess. Just go across just to get that shimmer in there. And yes, I keep my mouth open. I realize <laughs> that. I didn't always uh, realize that. Um, I'm just noticing that now as I'm filming. Um, but you know what? I think like every, almost every girl or boy puts on makeup, that happens. You have like a face where you're like, like perma duck face kind of almost, but your lips are open. It's attractive right now. So I'm just going to make sure that's all good. Awesome. Um... I'm not going to put any liner or anything on like that. Like I said, I want to keep this look like super simple and very fresh. <laughs> My Tweezerman eyelash curler. I'm just going to take this and pop it right there. And a trick I like to use is just to kind of dip it up like this. Just kind of tilt it up like this and hold it for five, five to ten seconds. And I'll like pulse it a little bit. And then I'll go in with my mascara. So I'm just going in with the Hypno Star by Lancome. And I will make sure to tilt my head back when I'm doing this. Because I always, I don't know about you guys, but I always get my mascara up on here. And I'm like, what did I, how, whatever. And if I do do that, I'll go in with a Q-tip when it's dry and just wipe it off. It's not a problem. I just... And I'll just start from the base and just kind of wiggle up and coat it a couple of times. I'll do my lower lashes as well. So for different looks, sometimes I'll use more than one or between one to three mascaras. Sometimes I'll use a different one for my bottom lash. Yeah, I'll coat that a good couple of times, and then I'm going to re repeat the same process on the other side. As you can see, it makes the eyes kind of pop out a little bit more when you have that blackness there. So, sometimes I'll pop on false lashes. Um, today, I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to keep the look really, really simple. Then I'll just keep going until I'm happy with it. And I'm actually going to pop on another mascara. I am notorious for mixing mascaras. I won't just do just one unless I'm absolutely in love with it and does everything I need. I find that some do lengthening and some do, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, lengthening and sometimes they, um, make them fuller. So I'm notorious for absolutely, like, always mixing my mascaras. And honestly, it's makeup, so you can do whatever you like. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, this is the Lancome Grand Oise. I'm just going to do that same process as before. Just kind of go through from the bottom to the top, coat it. As you can see, just 
kind of make the lashes a little bit longer. Normally, I'll like listen to music and whatnot while I'm doing my makeup and have a dance party because, let's just face it, life's too short. So have a dance party whenever the hell you feel like it. <laughs> so I know I'm really happy with it. It's very simple, very plain. Like it's not like I want to keep the eyes really neutral and like very light because I'm gonna go in with like a bolder lip. So I'm just gonna go grab a Q-tip. I mean Q-tip. I'm not gonna wet it or anything. I'm just going to lightly just rub there. And then I will grab that stifling brush from earlier, which should have some leftover product, and just kind of go over my face a little bit more. Alright. You know, I don't... I will usually fill in my brows, but I feel like keeping this super, super simple. Um, I can recommend some products for doing your brows if you want. I will always, though, use the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Absolutely love it. Was turned on to this product about six months ago i think it was and i have not used anything else since so yeah but yeah just to kind of keep your brows in place not go like a little bit crazy i don't know what you guys but my brows will sometimes be like Wah! and i'm just like this shouldn't be a thing so yeah i'm just gonna keep that very simple all right i'm gonna move on to my cheeks now all right all right I'm going to be going in the MAC blush. It's called Pink Swoon. I'm just going to do like a really light pink. Um, my lip is going to be a bright pink color. So I just want to keep it in the same family. So again, I just take my brush. I'm using a Sephora Perangled Blush brush in number 49. Just tap it in there. Tap off the excess. So I will start in the apple of my cheek. And just work my way up here. And I'll continue the process until I'm happy with it. But I just want a little bit of pink, get that little bit of flesh. And it looks natural, so it's not too much. So again, I just start here and the apple on my cheek and just follow it right to the outside. And now I just keep it very natural, very simple. And then I'm going to go in with some contour. Because I feel like contouring a little bit today. So I am going to take my NARS. I cannot remember the name of this brush. I will link it down below for you. Uh, it's a NARS. I use it for contouring solely. I'm going to dip it in Shade Stir, Sculpt and Shade Powder from MAC. I'm going to take this. Just kind of swipe it back and forth. Tap off the excess. And like this can look scary, but you can absolutely clean it up later and it'll be totally fine. Like I remember first starting out with this and I didn't know what the what the heck I was doing. I was all over the place half the time I was like I'm doing this wrong but there's a lot of trial trial and error and then you'll get the you look that you're trying to accomplish. So again I'm going to do my fish lips. I'm just gonna go from here which is where my hairline ends which is just a little bit above my ear. Not even above just like right across here. Then I'll stop like right here, which is kind of the end of my eye. So I have a pretty stark dark line there. And it, again, it looks crazy or like very stark. And you're just like, what the hell is she doing? I promise at the end it'll look completely fine. We'll clean it up and it'll look great. So same thing on this side. I'm going to do my chin. Under here, my jawbone. And then I'll do my forehead. I'll blend it out a little bit, but I usually use a different brush to blend out. And I find that this is great for getting the product on, but I will always find these, you see these like little tiny hairs from the brush. I will always find those and that just drives me nuts. Because I have like 
a widow's peak here i like to make sure and like you can totally tell the pattern is there i like to make sure that i contour those areas i want to go in with a pro contour blush contour number 74 from sephora so i'll just take this and i just brush it in and it doesn't look as dark it looks more natural not as scary And I'll do that to all the places that I applied it. So, like, I'll just take my hand and I'll just, like, sweep over a little bit. Just kind of make sure, like, other people will use, like, beauty sponges and do the same thing that I'm doing. I just like to use my hands, and sometimes I'll, I'll do a beauty blender as well. So I just like to kind of make sure that I've gotten all the areas that I wanted to hit. And then I will also, if see if I missed any of those black hairs from the brush. But I also think it's time for me to get a new one of these, because I think it's been fairly used. <laughs> all right so we're done with the contour and what i want to do is i just want to bake it a little bit so it kind of looks a little more sharp so i'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder a loose setting powder and what i'll do is i'll open this and i'll tap it into a little jar lid that i have um just to kind of have the product out here because i find that sometimes when i do it in the lid when you open it it just like flies everywhere so I decided just to take like a mason jar lid and put it in there. The Morphe M459. So I just just tap it in there, tap tap off some of the excess, and do that same fish look. Apply it just right under where I had that contour, just to kind of make it a little bit sharper. And it does look a little bit messy. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that later. So I'll tap off some of that excess. Put my brush down. Put the product away. I'm gonna go in and highlight. Um, I'm really actually really excited to talk to you about this product. It just it's gonna be released this week. I'm a huge Jacqueline Hill fan. I love her. Um, this I ordered I I was on bed rest last week, um, I got really sick, I contracted a virus, not that you guys need to know this, um, cause I coached skating as well, I got a virus from one of my kids, and I, <laughs> if I get sick, I get sick hard, it's not just like a tiny bit, it's like all the way, <laughs> um, so I happened to be on bed rest when they released, I'm sure this looks super hot, um, <laughs> but when they released a limited amount of the Becca Champagne Glow with Jack Jaclyn Hill, um, it's great, I, I got it in a day, I think, yeah, I got it, like, two days after I purchased it, um, so I'm a huge fan of Jaclyn Hill, I'm sure I mentioned that already, um, so this is her palette right here, and I'm just gonna open it up for you guys so you guys can take a look. So in here we have three blushes and two highlighters. So we have her brand new one, which is this beautiful gold shade right here, Prosecco Pop. <laughs> and then over here we have Champagne Pop. And then we have three blushes. So over here we have Bumpy Lemus, Amaretto in the middle, and then we have, I believe, Rosé Spritz. So, prior to that, I was using Becca Cosmetics for my highlighters, but I always love to mix and match, so I'm not, like, I only stick to one brand, and that's it, and, like, no. I play a lot, um, I just love highlighters, I think that it brings such light, and, like, in the right areas, and it just makes your skin glow from, it's, I just love it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to grab the Morphe M310, just a fan brush, very simple. You don't have to use any of the brands that I'm using. You can go with whatever you want and just apply it and just kind of follow um, the look that I'm going for. So like I said, very simple look um, and just a bold lip. So I'm going to mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. I'll just dab a little bit across the brush, top off the excess. 
and then I'll mix it after. So I like to start here on the another another one of those damn hairs. I like to start here on the top of my apple of these and then I'll go right to the end of my eye like eyebrow right over here. As you can see there's a bit of and this side doesn't have it yet. So I'm gonna go back and dab my brush again and do the same thing for this side. And I'll just go to the end of my brow. I will usually do my nose and then my forehead down in between my brows. Then I'll do the exact same thing with Prosecco Pop. In the same areas as you can see right now I have like a zebra stripe of highlighter I find I love these products but I find that they do have a lot of access so I find that I have to blow them away sometimes and I'm also going to mix a little bit more with um, the Anastasia glow gleam kit Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to take that same brush and apply it to Crush Pearl. Same thing, just kind of sweep it across the brush. Just to kind of get a little bit more of that iced pink color. Okay, so as you can tell the highlighter is super intense right now. So sometimes I'll <laughs> a damp beauty blender and just kind of dab it into my skin. But I'm just going to use my fingers. There are a lot of people who would recommend that you don't do this because your fingers do carry a lot of bacteria. Um, but I washed my hands before starting this, so we're good. And I just like to do that. And then as you can see, the highlighter is sitting right there and I just love it. The Morphe E3 brush and I'm going to now sweep away the baking powder that we put on earlier. And then, as I brush it away, you can kind of see how nice and clean that line is. I have my blush, and sometimes I'll reapply my brush, uh, my blush a little bit because I find that the color gets faded uh, with the contour. So I'm just going to quickly do that and then reapply that a little bit. As you can see, I do my hair last. I'm just dabbing mm, a little bit more blush on me cheeks of my apples and again I'll just take my fingers and just kind of rub so now I'm going to go in for the lips and sometimes people will highlight this area here um I just have like a little blemish there so I'm trying not to aggravate it so I'm going in with the melted metal liquid liquefied metallic lipstick in the shade dream house also in metallic dream house so like I said kept my makeup super simple I'm going to just going to squeeze a bit of the product into the end here just like that I'm going to apply it to my lips so once this dries I find that liquid lipstick tends to dry out my lips a little bit, but what I'll do is I'll go over with the gloss and I'm just going to go over with the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Loud and Lovely. And then you have your lip. So again, I kept the eye look and the rest of my face very simple and plain. And then I just did a really bold lip. So I'm just going to bring you guys a little bit closer. Now I'm going to go do my hair and then go do some errands for the day. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye guys. Bye guys.